welcome to Creating Perfume. I'm Alora, And I'm Vivian. And this is our, our channel. channel. I want to give a shout out to Raja Dove or Roja. Some of you say Roja Dove. We say Raja Dove. I'm not quite sure how he says his name. But if you notice on our uh, YouTube channel, we have a link to his YouTube. And he discusses and talks about all of his different creations he's done over the past 10 years. He has um, hit 10 year mark. So happy anniversary, 10 year anniversary to Raja, Raja, Roja. <laughs> and uh, we wanted to show what we were able to get in that I have not really had. I mean, I smelled a couple of them, but I was thinking you guys can pick one. Oh, sorry. And Vivian and I will uh, talk about it just a little bit. So, um, this is the Essence de Parfum, and I believe this is the female for the for women. So we're gonna switch over. Hopefully you can see it. Love the case. It is like a like a drawer. So and we're still learning how to use this camera, so I apologize if it doesn't look good. So here we're gonna slide it out. And see how those are? They're just so cute. And all of his formulas or his fragrances are just so elegant and classic, you know, or not classic, classy. I know, yay! Okay, so there's Scandal, Reckless, Creation R, and he goes over each of his uh, fragrances on his channel, Elixir. And we're going to smell them based off of how we as a perfumer want to smell them. Um, and then we'll go as a consumer. Uh, creation say 51? E. Mm -hmm, 51. Because you didn't read that one. Oh, sorry, 51. My apologies. Creation E. Yep. And then there is uh, Danger. Ooh. <laughs> so this is the Papron, which is for women. And then the Cologne is for men, I believe. If you get the different ones for Cologne. I would love to be able to afford his whole collection. But, you know, hey. Okay, so which one do we want to do? There's the elixir. You want to say them again? Scandal, Reckless, Creation R, Elixir, Creation E, and Thinker. Yeah, he is absolutely amazing. He uses majority of his fragrances are um, naturals. So we'll come back over here. So when he builds a fragrance, he uses a lot of naturals and a lot of materials that he has um, processed. That's what I think gives it a lot of elegance, depth, light. I mean, his fragrances are just absolutely gorgeous. And I noticed that a lot of artists and perfumers love to use naturals as well. Tinctures, you know, and things like that, their own stuff. And that's why I love artisan fragrances as well because the complexity that people go when they are doing the artisan fragrances. And that's because a lot of naturals are actually used in artisan fragrances. I just wanted to kind of give a shout out to Roja and congratulate him. So we wanted to talk about at least one. We can't do too much. You can only do one fragrance really at a time. Which one? <laughs> danger. Danger? Oh, danger. All right. So let's go ahead. Um, we've got danger, danger, danger. All right, All right. So we know, you know, smelling one material, one fragrance at a time is the best, or at least for me. Uh, maybe three. You could do up to three, because they'll start to cross in this space. They'll start to, to where I will smell one, and then I'll go to smell another, another. And if they are similar in any way, I can't analyze it properly. So that's just me. You ready? Okay. So I'm going to turn to the side. I use the larger side of the scent strip only because make sure the little hole is <laughs> like facing that so you don't get your <laughs> fingers. Yes. Yeah, so I kind of use, I like to use this side just for, so I have a little bit more space. Now what I'm doing, uh, you know, doing materials and I'm actually analyzing materials. I use a much smaller space here, but doing a fragrance, a final product, I like to use this side of the uh, scent strip just because it catches a little bit more. So I will go ahead and spray that. And I'll, oh wow, that's beautiful. So um, 
I went ahead and sprayed it just once so you can, I don't know if you can see. Oh well, you can, it's just a little bit. So it's not dark on the scent or on the spritz. So I don't think you'll have any fear of staining the clothes. A lot of natural materials are those that have like the, the, um, like myrrh, any darker labdanum, myrrh, oud. Um, a lot of the materials that are darker in there, uh, even orange indole turns red. Um, those materials, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Mm, I, can I just do, wow. I'm like, not even put it at my nose yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of Christmas for me. I know it does. People are going to think it's Christmas. Very, um, very sweet. Yeah. People are going to go, what? Christmas doesn't make sense. For me, it smells like my aunt's, uh, when I would go into my aunt's um, house at Christmas, her bathroom, because she she also loved fragrances as well. And it was this wall, it's the old days, you know, the old houses where it was a split level. And in her in her bathroom, there was just this, this long uh, bathroom, literally it was just long, and it had like two sinks, and it was just like a galley almost. <laughs> And um, the smell that I just loved going in there, not after someone used it, but before someone used it. And this is kind of very similar. It's like what I remember about her visiting her house and especially around Christmas time. Okay, so this is de parfum. So I'm trying to figure out if that's for men or for women. So, or it doesn't matter really. You know how we say that it, it's, um, we don't ever really say that it's for men or for women. We have been warned. I know, I love it. This is what it says about it. It says, Essence de Parfum is a new concentration of fragrance structures, uh, structured to be as refreshing as an eau de toilette with the lasting quality of an eau de parfum. It's for women. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And these are, I guess, have been restructured for the higher concentrates to kind of give the... Um, so it's light enough to be like a, um, on the skin, I'm going to guess we're about to put it on our skin. So what they're saying is that it's light enough to be like a eau de toilette that has the long lasting characteristics that are, that come with a, oh, a part of And so this has a, almost a, a sweet powdery to me as well. I don't know if he used any form of musk or synthetic musk or embret seed, maybe because he does a lot of naturals, but is that scandal? I mean, danger, this one? Oh, I don't know. Danger, yeah. It says key ingredients, rose, jasmine, ylang ylang, sandalwood, and vanilla. So the vanilla is definitely what's giving it that sweetness, I, I think. I knew it. And sandalwood, the creamy. I think it's got PEA in there. You think? Yes, because that just instantly reminded me of that one that we sprayed, mm -hmm. and it overtook the, the fragrance. Yeah, not fruity sweet, vanilla sweet, yes. And powdery, it's definitely got a powdery aroma. She's smelling more of PEA. I'm not really picking up because I always associate PEA with booze. I know people think I'm insane. Booze breath. But when it's diluted down, when PEA is in its diluted amounts, very diluted amounts. Then it imparts more of a rose characteristic to me. But in its 10% or is 18. 18. Yeah, it's in it. Oh, sorry. She's having to figure out what what is what. Yes, that is it. Okay. So she's going to now do the spritz on that side and do a match. But we've already it's already been spritzed on this scent strip. So right now the opening or the blast it's been about i think five minutes since we've done it i don't know about the ambergris but it's a possibility i smell more of a musk and sandalwood like the back not back to all like yeah maybe more of the creamier um yeah, it's think, creamy i think so mm, that's wrong are you with the this way or you don't this think way? that that's strong that's strong that's in there uh a little bit not a lot I mean, that's the rose, obviously the rose that's in it. That is definitely in there. Woo! I don't even smell boozy in here. <laughs> I 
She's never smelled anyone drunk, <laughs> I guess, who's been drinking alcohol all night and then has that on their breath. No, I don't find it that that smells like that. Well, it does in the opening for me. Well, for me. This is just me. This is my definition, my connection with PEA. So if this were diluted down to a 1%, then I would say definitely it's in here. Do we have other materials we can match with it? You want to try? Uh, it said jasmine, but we have jasmine. Uh, well, no, I mean, it's just, that's just his, that. that's, that's, that's marketing. Yeah, I know it's marketing, yeah. but. So let's, you did PEA. I don't smell no San Paquita in there. <laughs> well, here we go. <laughs> let's try. So here's a whole bottle of San Paquita at a 10% and oh my low. That's like smelling real jasmine. It's on the freaking believable can't wait for you guys to get to try it it's beautiful yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. i wish we had yelang did we have yelang did we get yelang we do have yelang we're already smelling there's seven remember Kika. we already have it on Gross. the dry down too yep Ooh, very pretty oh my gosh the sempakita is just ugh, amazing i wish we had yelang Oh, beta ionone probably, and ionones would be good. So go ahead and get the ionones. So this one is galaxolide, uh, and this one is galaxolide at 100%. 100%? And it's very super, super solid. See, nothing coming out. And that is that at 50% or 100%? 100%. You also have Evelyn Bradley, so. Yep. I'm just trying to see if I find um, Yolang Yolang in here. His fragrances are way more complex than what we're making it seem. Uh, we're just trying to do some form of matching. So here we are in here. These are some that are, let me get these solids out of the way. I love these. These are so cool. Um, yeah, the beta ionome. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So this is great for, you take the beta ionome and you, Pair it with a citrus and vanilla, you're going to get a really nice powdery effect. All right, so we have now the Sempaquita, oops, Sempaquita, which is jasmine. Beta, beta ionone at 0.01%. Now the alcohol is already dissipated off of the scent strip, so all that's left is the percentage of the oil or the uh, material. So with that, you can now make a good um, analogy because we're smelling this one at a point zero one percent at the beta ionone so mm -hmm. oh yeah mm -hmm. and it's so detectable it's extremely detectable even at that low low level and when oh now oh danger has start to really open up to that sandalwood creaminess holy delitos wow it's almost like sandalwood being enveloped <laughs> by powder it's so beautiful, like a sweet powder, vanilla. It's not vanilla per se. I'm not sure if it's vanilla. Let's do a amber fix. So if the fragrantica says that it does have like a no. ambergris aroma or a characteristic, then we can at least give it a try. We're gonna get down into 21 the- 21 is amber fix. Okay. Getting down low into the um, lower or the heavier molecules that tend to keep fragrances closer to the skin. It's way too strong, but it's nice. I can just bathe in this one. <laughs> I know. Now we have PA, which is starting to already lose okay, its um, potency. The Sempaquita is just <laughs> gorge. So absolutely Fantabulous. Yes. Okay. So this is the beta ionone at 0 0.01. Wow. That is definitely present. I think put these together. Ow. <laughs> it's like booze breath. <laughs> How do you smell booze breath? Don't ask me. Yeah. Yeah. What about this one? This is Vermas. Yeah. It's right here. You put it on the wrong side. It's this side. 
Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. I don't know. Okay, we're putting Veramoss <laughs> in here. <laughs> we're just missing Sandalwood. And I think that would be a... a and Ylang, a, Ylang. And Ylang. Ylang. I think Ylang will do it. It's a pretty fragrance. Yeah. And maybe a maybe a sweet one. It's yeah, way too sweet, sweet, I think. All right, Epimaltol. Beta Aino. Oh! Amber Fix. Oh! P.A. You know, when you got a memory, you can't shake it. <laughs> now, when you put it together, it's a whole nother level. It's a whole nother ball game. <laughs> and Paquita. Wow. Just wow. And then the Bear Moss and the Ethel Maltol, which is going to take it way too sweet. But, hey, we'll put it in there. Can we put it on our skin? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's oh, this right. his is just so yeah. The Yelaine and the barely even spritz like it was maybe four little drops of it and look. Wow! Oh, that it's such it's got a beautiful beautiful powdery effect. So it was like not even a full spritz. It was just like little 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 oh yeah little, little dribble. Yes. Yeah. Cause I didn't want to spray the whole thing. Oh, what my low. Yeah, you don't need a lot with this. It is the most gorgeous. There's nothing like it. Let me just put it that way. There is no other material that is like that. Cheese old pizza is so beautiful. Yeah, we're just, uh, we're definitely missing the beauty of sandalwood, maybe a little bit more ionone. The Sampaquita is complete, so, I mean, that one is just, it's a mixture. I believe it's a mixture. I'm pretty sure it's a mixture. And, uh, it's just so gorgeous. White coral, amber, sweet, yellow coral, powdery, cinnamon. There you go. Oh, we need to add maybe some eugenol in here. So we're going to add a little bit of spice to it. Ooh, beautiful. Sorry, I'll be back. I like the moss. It gives it a, a very, like I said, the class, uh, not classic, classy. Uh, I'm going to do PA. Like... Oh. It reminds me a little oh. bit. I see now what you're saying. I get you. About the, um, boozy. 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 Okay. So we have all I of these. Now, but it's not like it's just. Uh, it's like phenol. Uh, what is it? Phenol ethyl alcohol, which is ethyl what it is. acetaldehyde. Oh, phenol ethyl aldehyde. Okay. It's phenol ethyl acetaldehyde that um, it's a it's a definitely a rose smell, but it's just very 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 um. Was it uh, one? one? Oh, sorry. A rose that's um. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It's like starting gold. to, it's starting Bloom. to, um, to die. Die? Oh, poor thing. Yeah. So, okay. So we're now looking at these materials. We're starting to build something out. Um, so we have the jasmine. This is a jasmine. The rose. PA's rose. Beta ionone is the violet. Eugenol is a spice or clove which will also help to um, offset this rose. It gives it more life, per se, because you have spice that's naturally in a rose. And then we have the Vera Moss, which is, I don't know, to me, it's kind of, I guess, mossy. Um, it's, it's moss. Uh, ethyl, but ethyl maltol is like a candy floss or it's literally sugar to me, like sh sweet sugar. This has malt on. Amber fixes it's got vanilla too. Uh, yeah, we don't have a van. Uh, I did bring a vanilla. I think I did. Can you go grab a vanilla? I think we have a vanilla. Uh, Amber fix, which is our um, animalic, or this is our ambergris. Again, we don't have all the naturals here, but it's moss. See, it says oak mossy, but it's kind of more watery oak moss. Like, I would put that in the aquatic 
Oh, well. I don't know. Maybe. However you want to put it. We just miss, we're missing the yalang, 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 yalang. Yeah. Yalang. So this one would be, uh, this one is just so complex. I mean, this one is beautifully complex. I love it. It's just beautiful. Just definitely in there. We just need a sandalwood. I think um, to round that, I'll bring it into the sweeter, creamier, creamy sandalwood. Oops, creamy. Uh, woods. Um, vanilla, maybe it's not. Vanilla is not to me too sweet like a ethyl maltol candy floss or sugar. Vanilla is more of a softer sweet, I guess. I don't know. It's a gourmand sweet. Gourmand? Gourmand is sweet. So I need to see if I can get a vanilla in here. All right, so this amber fix is really taking over. So I want to try the different dilutions of the... Um, materials. So like this amber fix is at, I believe 1%. So I would actually go down to a 0.1 just to test it. So 1%. Uh, let's see, we have amber fix at 1%. We have Sempaquita at 10%, which is just way off the charts. It's like, whoop, but it's good. PA, I think was at 10. Beta ionone is at 0.01% maybe. I can't remember. We'll have the question mark there. Eugenol was definitely on the low. I think it was 0 0.01 as well. Maybe 0 0.001. Ethyl maltol was at one. Don't have those up yet. So there's ethyl vanillin if we want to look at that one. This one is the ethyl vanillin at 1%. There's more in there. I think we could probably try. Maybe, I don't know. So this is at 1%. I should put it to where it's the number, what the percentage is also on here as well. So I know what I'm looking for when I go to formula. All right, so now we're gonna pick these back up. Oh my low. Just the scent, the quita, and the ethyl vanillin is just delicious. And the maltol, here we go. So Vera Moss, what are the characteristics of Vera Moss? Uh, the, the uh, I guess. Book. Mossy, dry, earthy, woody, phenolic, oak moss, spicy, powdery. Okay. PA, which this one is starting to lose its potency now. So I have to spray it again, probably. And then the beta ionone. Wow, that beta ionone is just so, so needed. Perfumers Apprentice shows that very moss, never know, and very moss. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So whichever way it's correct. Can I show? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, oh, how about that? Very moss, ever new, and very moss. So whichever way is fine. So we have, this is the Amber Fix. I think that's a little too strong for this, but it's definitely something to put in here that's just on point for this one. But that sandalwood, man, we need a sandalwood in here, like an ebonol, vaccinol, whatever you want to call it, or just real sandalwood. We basically have, again, all these numbered, and we start to spray them on the scent strips so that we can start building based off of and the percentages. We have to figure out the, I don't have the percentages on here, but we will. We'll have it to where now we have the actual percentage. I guess we'll now have to put the name of it as well. When we have our clients uh, testing materials, you know, whenever we actually sit with a client, okay, let me come back here. So when we sit, uh, when we have a video conference with a client, we only have the same thing that they're smelling. So numbers. And um, when they get that uh, material and they spray it on the scent strip and we spray it, we're all testing to see, seeing how the client or customer is responding to that material. So we wanna know what their definitions are because my definition of the material, um, like me with 18 or with a PEA, which is number 18 now, that immediately has a booze breath. I know it's rose and I know it's supposed to be, and I do detect the rose in it, the, like in full bloom. These are excellent starting points. Um, when we, we like right now, we're just trying to, here, we'll go back to this. So what we're trying to do is create like an outline 
of materials, just outlining it of what I'm possibly going to use in my formulation. Does that make sense? So it's only for me to kind of get a, not a true picture. I mean, obviously I don't know the full picture until I start to formulate, but I know that, you know, the Sampaquita can be done at 10% in my formula or the, in the final product, it can be at 10. And then, the, you know, the Vera Moss can be at whatever percentage I have here, which is a 1%. So it should only make up 1% of the final material or final product, or it can be used up to 10% total if it makes up 10% of the whole concentrate. It depends. I mean, you're starting to look at these and go, okay, well, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, well, seven materials. And if I add sandalwood and ylang in here, it's really going to change it. And then I'm going to obviously use some uh, top notes that might give it a, I need some form of citrus in here to help that vanilla and beta ionone to become more soft powder, if that makes sense. But I don't want it to overpower my opening because that's not what I smell in the opening. So I would use a smaller proportion of that citrus, like a clementine sweet citrus in a very diluted or not diluted per se, but in a small amount to kind of pair up with the vanilla and the beta ionone to create a soft powder effect. I love this slate. Well, let me go back. Well, no, you saw the slate. So the slate helps me um, if I need to write notes out, I can here just make sure you write them or transfer them quickly, take a picture of it or what have you. So we have all these glass containers sitting up here right now. And so that every time I go, this is great for just playing around on the skin to see how they, they smell on the skin. Um, you know, spraying on a cotton round or what have you and layering them on top of one another and let the alcohol dissipate. If you take a cotton round and you put it like, let's say in a Petri dish and you place it here. So if you were to take a cotton round and place it inside here, and then you have these little spritzers and you spray it on top, you can start kind of building it because the alcohol, oh, sorry, the alcohol is going to dissipate. So we want it to not be saturated because the alcohol it dilutes all the oils, but if we were to take everything that we just literally put here, um, and let's say we have the, um, Sempaquita, where are you? Over here. So here's the Sempaquita. And we just do right now, just one spritz, you know, we're just trying to get a, a sketchbook or, you know, like an outline, like when you do a movie or a book, we're just spraying once. Okay. Oh my God. That's so pretty. We only need one spray. I think this one's powerful. Here's the ethyl vanilla. And so I don't have that in a spray. So I have to use a, uh, what do we call it? A pipette. Vivian wrote it out. Ethyl vanilla, or maybe it's me. I don't know. At 1%. And then this one is at 1%. I think that's my horrible handwriting. Sorry. I have the worst handwriting in the world whenever I'm fast. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to take this now. and just grab a small little sample and then just drop it in there. Oops. And you can do the same thing with the drops for this, um, on this cotton pad. All right. So we'll take 22, quite sweet, quite powerful, but okay. One, hopefully it was one. All right. The bear moss is 24. 25, 25. 25. Uh, so we now have 25. So, oops, that was very, 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 very spritzy. Very moss. All right. Usual. We'll do last beta ionone. So you see how we have a gamut. We're literally going down all the different style, uh, all the different types of characteristics based off of Steve Dolphwaite's ideas of the ABCs to perfumery. So you got it. I just love that idea. It does a great job. And because of it, we're able to, I gotta get these out of the way so I don't 
cross contaminate. All right, so we're going to do number nine. That one's a powerful one. Now we're going to do eugenol, which is 19, and PA, which is 18. Anyway, ooh, that's so pretty. Now we don't have, unfortunately, the um, sandalwood with us right now. Hopefully we'll buy next week. We'll have everything in place so we can play. I think it's vapor pressure due to sublimation. It's just starting to smell really nice. Um, and right now, okay, so you think about this. This is all, the alcohol hopefully is dissipating. Oh, it smells good. good though. But, oh wow, it's very pretty. I think more beta ionome would really... Nothing like... <laughs> oh no, we don't have the sandalwood or the ylang in here. Even, yeah. I mean, we might want to even boost up the Zempaquita. We don't call this formulating. We call this sketching. So we're just outlining kind of what we're thinking about uh, material-wise, what we could possibly put together. I mean, the alcohol is dissipating. So what's left is the oil. So that's, we're not diluting the material. We're trying to see what the material, what it's going to smell like without the alcohol in it. So that it leaves only the percentage of each of these materials. Oh my gosh. So on this, when I pinched them all together, holy Toledo, that is just so gorgeous. Smell this. It's so pretty. San Paquita is strong, man. Yeah, it's strong. It's taking up a lot of it, but it's nice. And we just need, I think the beta ionol. Beta ionol would be nicely again. All right. That adds a little bit of more. I think the ionone violet really lends to a really nice um, paired with the vanilla ionone and a, and a citrus. Yeah, we definitely time. need the ylang ylang in there and the uh, sandalwood. sandalwood. And I think it would be pretty close. But then all we need to do at that point is start layering from there all the different ideas. So we're going to take Clementine. I'm going to put this on a sip strip so you can smell it. I mean, we're starting to smell all these other smells that smell so smelly. So right now it's kind of not a, it's a false representation of what this is going to smell like. We're going to add a little bit of Clementine to this just because um, I want to see how the powdery effect happens. That's going to be strong, but it's Which a sweet, one? sweet Clementine. And then we're going Ooh. to do the Kananga bean, and that's the natural Kananga. What percentage was it at? Oh, I'm going to bring it up higher. It is point one percent. Oh my gosh, that one just totally. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> that one. Oh, wasn't that's tight. That's changed in a lot. Yep. That's pretty similar. Yeah. We just need so, sandalwood. Sandalwood now. Alrighty. So we have kananga, which is natural kananga. All right. So we just gotta wait for the alcohol to dissipate. We're missing sandalwood. If we just had a nice creamy sandalwood in here, wow, 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 wow. So now we have a nice roadmap or outline to start off with. And now I would put all of these on my uh, my uh, formulating sheet that Nate gave, making sure that if I use naturals, which I believe the beta I know was a natural, but it's a, a singular molecule. Sampaquita is a mixture. Um, Eugenol, Verma, I'm trying to find which one. Oh, the Kananga oil. I have to make sure my COA has all of the materials in it so I can find out restriction wise how much I can use of it. And then um, you go from there. You start building. And sandalwood obviously is the number one material in this that's missing. Definitely. I mean, you can smell that creamy sandalwood. A aroma in the dangerous. I think it's dangerous, right? Didn't you put some type of citrus in there? Yeah, I did. It. In there. Oh, clementine. So the citrus and the. We're now looking at the violet, which is your beta ionol, and we're looking at the vanilla. Where it's at here, it is vanilla, which we did use. You take these three, and you've got a nice powder wow. effect. And then you've got the sandalwood, when you add that to there, you're going to start to feel a creamy powder. It's like a, it'll be a soft powder. So we're softening it. 
softening place build it right I don't even know if you can see my notes um, so so we've got these three that create the powdery we've got the citrus or the spice if you added cardamom in here instead of usual would be nice too or even a pink peppercorn so even pink peppercorn would be nice in here to pair it up with this uh, rose the PA but I would also Think about possibly bringing something more complex in here rose wise um, and then you have the sempaquita which is so complex on its own that it really is a center stage I like it or not center stage per se but it, it, it really adds to the show for sure the story so pink peppercorn possibly exchanged for the usual or added together not sure ethyl maltol a little too sweet I would go down a little lower even with the ethyl maltol Keep that vanilla and maybe bump the ethyl vanilla. This is ethyl vanilla, by the way. And I would bump that up a little. Keep that on the up. Amber fix, bring it down. Don't want it too strong. It's the ambergris that we're looking at. Candy floss, again, it's just the ethyl maltol is kind of too sweet. I would definitely bring that down and bump up the vanilla. Bear moss is great just where it's at. Again, you can all switch it for possibly the pe pink peppercorn. Beta Ionol is great right where it's at too. Kananga, I would probably with a 0.1 see if it based off of the restrictions, I would have to look at it. Maybe kind of bump that up too. Clementine bring down. Oh my god. Clover um cord that Miss Susan created is so beautiful. It would actually, it's not too green. It's actually very complete complex, whatever you want to call it. It would change this aroma, this fragrance completely. And uh, right now I have it at 100%, so this is way too strong. But, oh my lo, it would bring in that green element of the rose. Other, oh, yep. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. So, again, we're starting to look at our. This is an accord, so this one already itself has about um, five materials. So it has uh, five aroma, aroma chemicals in it. Five to eight, I think is the max we go, or Miss Susan goes. So five to eight aroma chemicals. And uh, it has a very, very, it's almost like it's um, clover. It literally smells like something. If you think of the word clover, this is it. I mean, this aroma is just right on. Wow. So now we're going to take this clover that we have that aroma. It is at a, it's at a hundred percent concentrate right now, but it means the only way it'll keep up with this PA, man. So you put those two together and that is so pretty, but I got to dilute that clover. It's just way too strong, but I oh, bet you it'll so be pretty. Yeah, no, it's so pretty. Mm, uh, so good. beautiful. Isn't it pretty? Just need sandalwood. I like to start with a base, sometimes add a quartz which give even more complexity because there's so many different layers of an accord, right? You just gotta be careful with not going too muddy with your fragrance, but that's what trials are for. We think that keeping uh, close to maybe 20% in naturals when you're just starting out, so you don't over muddy a fragrance, or you can do all naturals if you choose. I mean, it's up to you. You can start with just one natural that would be a base to build something around. We could try that too. So we'll have accords that we're building that are simple and to a, to a uh, specific fragrance, like a strawberry, banana, uh, you can give me an, a clover, whatever. Those are accords to us. They have a specific a smell or recreation you're trying to generate that can't be done by one material alone, but not 20. That's the accords. Try to keep them simple, hopefully. Two to five materials for cords building. We're going to do... Um, bases and then from there we're going to build complex formulations or build upon those using our quartz and bases and singular materials that we've done a detection threshold with and build on top of that there's a million 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 quadrillion uh possibility so i think this is a great starting point for you guys make sure you add some sandalwood anyway oh wow Pretty close. Well, we're missing sandalwood. Yeah, I know, but and ylang, and ylang. Well, we got kananga. Definitely. 
smell this in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that one's sandalwood all the way. As soon as we get sandalwood, and I think it needs a, 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 a um, sandalwood essential oil, not just a bits and pieces like a Mysore acetate or uh, Mysore wood or uh, what's it, Sandella. There's Avenol, uh, Bactanol, all of those. Um, I think we need a real true sandalwood to create, to get to that level because he uses a lot of naturals. Not bad, Mom. Another <laughs> weed. Yeah. So kudos to Roja, Araja, Doug. Happy 10th anniversary. Um, just absolutely wonderful. If you guys can, go and grab his sample samples. Well, go ahead, flip it over. This one? Yep. So we should clean it off, but just absolutely amazing. Love it. Love how they're even put in there. And then the one that we did today that we got to smell and enjoy was the Danger. I think that's it. Danger. Yep, danger. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Well, that's my opinion. You know, everybody's skin is the final material, the final formula, or yeah, material to a formula. So, yay! All right, guys. So, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them. You know in the, where to go. You know where to go. <laughs> please leave them in the questions or comments section below, or go to Facebook, which would be great, as well as Instagram and Discord. Haiku and all the other amazing people who are in here, our family, will answer a lot of your questions there. You guys have an amazing day, and we shall see you next Sunday on the next video. Bye.